Okay, hello guys. Uh, quickly before the episode starts, I forgot to mention this in the recording, so I'm recording this at the end. Um, in our previous stream, uh, we managed to get Imperial Chun in class and Dragon Soul Shinobi. Uh, we did it in stream, we played through, played through the Yokai story of you guys, got to Yokai rank 10, and then we found Dragon Soul Shinobi. Uh, as well as a couple of other cosmetics, such as this and this, and the Year of the Ox Cave. A couple of stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, let's get into the episode. Hello guys, HBR here. Welcome to... I don't know what episode this is. 10 maybe? No, we've done 10. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> the um, What we're doing now is we're farming some house items. This is just a quick thing at the beginning of the episode. Because obviously we've got other stuff to get on with. But I have this clip and I don't really know where to put it. So essentially we slash joined off Onsen. And Katara's got a quest there for loads of house items. Which is super cool. Uh, so you just slash on Yokai Grave and kill these shallow kitties. Um, and that's all you got to do and you get so many cool house items. So if you guys haven't done this uh, re I'd really recommend it. You get loads of cool house items as well as a house as well uh, And a Kiban Onsen That's like an Akiban bathhouse, which is super cool So yeah, I'd recommend getting that if you haven't got it and as you can see we got like six items there uh, We got pretty much everything and yeah, that's it All right guys, uh, just a quick one um, Obviously, the clip you just saw was me commentating over, but everything in the rest of this episode is live commentary. Uh, that's the only bit that was commentated over. But yeah, I thought I'd just quickly give you a house tour of all the stuff I got. Um, you can see we're using the uh, Akiban house. They're both Akiban. Uh, the Akiban tea house, which is a daily drop. Uh, I really recommend getting it because it's super nice. Uh, you can see, you know, we've just decorated it with some of these uh, onsen items and also some stuff from Darkovia. Um, I just thought I'd quickly show you guys. I know you don't care about my house, but... Uh, since I put in a clip of me farming house items, I figured I should probably show you what I did with them. Uh, so you can see, in the, you know, really basic, not very much stuff, but yeah, super cool. Good morning, everyone. HBR here. Welcome to episode... Actually, I don't know what episode this is going to be, but today in this clip, uh, we're going to be doing something very special. Um, and it all starts at Slash Join Underworld. And I'm sure at this point, you can probably already guess what it is. I mean, most likely I've put it in the title anyway, so I guess you'll know because of that. But, uh, yeah, we are going to be joining the Legion. So, yeah, that's what we're doing uh, today. We're going to buy Undead Warrior. Uh, 3, 2, 1, buy. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to do all the quests in as much time as possible and then sell Undead Warrior so we don't lose too many ACs. So we need to get straight into them. Starting off with Undead Champion Initiation. Uh, so we need Black Knight's Eternal Contract. Okay, so this should be relatively easy. Uh, in order to do this, you go to Gringard West, I believe. And you go to where the Black Knight is, um, which I think is up here. Oh, I'm actually too good. Uh, and then you have to do this quest and it'll give you the Black Knight's eternal contract. Well, it won't. It'll give you the Black Knight orb and then you uh, do something else to get the Black Knight's eternal contract. I can't remember what, but we'll find out. Uh, so yeah, and to do this stuff, you have to go to all the different green guard bosses, uh, such as this guy here, Death Gazer, and we just have to defeat this guy. While I'm at this, sorry for no webcam. No webcam because I can't get it to work, so apologies. Uh, where do we go next? Well, uh, let me invite Shinyuki real quick. So now we get to well, and we um, kill the gel, nice and easy. And then we go to Green Dragon. Okay, so we need the arm piece and the chest piece. I'm assuming we get one from Green Guard Dragon, and then the other one will probably be from... Uh, oh, what's the last boss? Ah, it's Trunk. Thank you, Shinyuki. Alright, happy days. Now, making awesome progress so far, by the way. And there we go. There's the Black Knight Orb. Um, and now, uh, I guess we just summon the Black Knight and uh, defeat him here. And we get Black Knight's Eternal Contract. And that's the first quest complete. Okay, nice. So now we turn this one in. There's the first one done. And we're on to Mourn the Soldiers. Okay, so for this one, we just kill a bunch of different soldiers as the name suggests. So the first one is Skeletal, uh, Skeletal Soldier, which I believe you get at Graveyard. Skeletal Viking. I think there's a soldier up here. Yes. Oh no, that's that's a warrior. That's a Skeletal Warrior. 
We want Skeletal Soldier. I think we have to go to Sword Haven Undead. Yeah, here they are. Nice, there we go. And then we need a Fishman Soldier, which is at Pirates. Oh, what a guess. I'm actually insane. Um, and then the next one we need is a Dwakel Soldier. Uh, which I think is a crash site. However, I think they're also at Willow Creek. Yeah, I might have to go to Willow Creek. Alright, nice. Thank you again to, <laughs> to Shinyugi for helping us out. I didn't particularly want to do the story. Uh, and then I believe the last one we go to is Dwarf Hold. Uh, nice, and then we just kill this one and that is this quest complete. Okay, so now we head back to Underworld to turn in the quest. Make an absolutely brilliant progress so far, which is always good to see. There's the second quest done. Now on to understanding undead champions. Now this is the one that's going to take a while. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to bring my main account, but I'm going to go into my guild runes. Not my guild. Well, guild I'm in ruins. Uh, and get some people to come and help. So be right back. Okay, so we just got interrupted by everyone getting kicked off the server, which is always fun. So uh, we regain and start again. Alright, so we're already halfway there and it's literally been like three minutes. Uh, so yeah, getting through it super quick. Oh nice, we just hit Dragon Shinobi rank 6 as well. I think it's double uh, class rep right now, so yeah, that's probably why we're ranking up so fast. Okay, last one. And there we go. Happy days. Thank you to everyone in Ruins Guild who came and helped out. Shinyuki, VVVV, Ankle Ahmed of course. Uh, appreciate you guys coming and helping. And yeah, happy days. Okay, so there's that quest complete. Now we head back to Underworld in order to turn in the quest and start the next one. There we go. Only 50 gold and XP. That's not very good, but oh well. Now, player versus power. Uh, you need 200 combat trophies. And as you can see, I already have 200 combat trophies. Um, I just pre-farmed it because I wanted to get everything done in 24 hours. So, if you guys are joining the Legion, I'd recommend getting the 200 combat trophies first. Because uh, they can take quite a bit of time to get if you're actually doing PvP. Um, what I did is I just had like three alts set up. And I just got my main account and run through and kill all the restorers and brawlers in Bloodrup Brawl. And then every time you do that, you get five. And then you just cycle through that like 40 times. So, yeah, that's how I did it. Um, and it took about... It took probably a bit over an hour. Um, so, it didn't take too long. And I could have done it after I bought the armor. But, I, you know, better to be safe than sorry. And now we're on to the final quest. Uh, which is just kill 25 King's Guards. Uh, which you do at prison. Um, but I think the RNG for these ones is kind of low. So, um, yeah, we'll see. Let me um, equip Imperial Chunin. Uh, which is probably my best farming class I've got at the moment. And, yeah, now we just uh, sit here and get 25. As you can see, I killed four and I've only got one King's Guard slain. So... It's not like 100% drop by any means, uh, but still hopefully it shouldn't take too long. Alright, so one more and there we go. Happy days. Okay, nice. There is the 25 King's Guards slain. Now we're gonna now we're gonna join Underworld. Uh, same as every other time, and we're gonna turn in the final quest, which will allow us to get the undead champion armor, which means we are officially in the Legion. Turn in done nice now we can go in the armor shop and not that shop that's the wrong one now we can go in the shop we can go into legion shop and we can get under champion which means we are now in the legion and it also means that now we can go in the armor shop uh, we can go to undead warrior which is right here and you can see we can sell it for 1080 adventure coins so in fact you actually it only cost 120 acs to join the legion um and we did that in 26 minutes about just under 26 minutes and that included me getting disconnected and everything so and not being able to get back on the server so decent i'd say you know it doesn't take that long at all guys just like i said make sure you farm pre-farm the combat trophies uh, and if you can get some sort of party together to kill under champion quickly then i'd also really recommend that let's take a look at the merch shop and just see some of the stuff we can get obviously this stuff is clutch infinite legion dark caster is definitely something i'm going to be getting because it's one of my favorite farming classes in this game uh, Blade Master is obviously a classic. Uh, all of this stuff is just super cool. 
And actually a lot of it I don't have on my main account. So I would like to get some of it. Obviously we'll be able to get Yami no Ronin down the road as well, which is awesome. Uh, but yeah, there's just so many cool cosmetics. And more stuff's going to be added for Deja's birthday. So now is, if you haven't joined the Legion yet and you've got the OCs, now is probably one of the best times to do it, I'd say. Uh, and you can also get, you know, Legion Castle, that kind of thing. Uh, but anyway, that is it for this recording. And probably it for this Let's, Let's Play episode, guys. So thank you everyone for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care.